Okay, step 11. Chorus bias, jackboard. Now, you need an oscilloscope and an audio generator for this one. So, uh, I actually have a USB audio generator, a function generator, and a frequency counter. And that's it working right over there next to the oscilloscope. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you may not have this handy, or you may have better tools, or you may be using a synthesizer, but the bottom line here is that you need to be able to send it a... Uh, well, the test pattern they're, they're saying is a 10 volt peak to peak, 1 kilohertz sine wave into test point 2 of the module board, and then you adjust VR1 and VR2 so that the positive and negative halves are symmetrical with respect to the horizontal line. So here is the waveform that's going in, and here is what is coming out, and here is me very, very carefully holding my probe in there and I have the function generator going in here. So the function generator goes into test point two of the module board and then there's the analog ground for both of the probes and then here I'm touching in. There's not a, a convenient handy little test point. Um, they've uh, listed them here in the diagram. They're basically at the foot of a capacitor and a foot of a diode respectively. So this is test point two that I'm testing right now and um, that's basically how that goes so <clears throat> um, it says the sine wave goes into test point two and then you're testing VR1 and that seems to be all it says so um, uh, it's looking pretty good actually and the positive and negative halves are pretty much symmetrical here and so I'm happy with what I've got and I'm gonna move on the load offset now is number 12. We'll do that one next.